Hey everyone, it's Maria. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get this um, green, sort of smoky, sparkly eye and berry lip look for the holidays. Um, if you guys want to know how to do this look, please keep on watching. So the first color that I'm going to apply, and this is just going to be a base, is um, the light white gold color from the Coffee and Cream palette, the uh, cream eyeshadow duo from Eyes of Space, and I'm going to be using this one right here. I'm just going to apply this to my eyelid and as a base. So the next color that I'm going to take is called 14 Carat, and it's by Aroma Lee, and it's a gold, pale gold color. So I'm going to take this color on, uh, let's see, what brush am I going to take? Uh, 239 by MAC. And I'm just going to lightly apply this color to the inner corner right here. But not all the way in. The first one third, but not all the way in. And I'm moving it up towards the crease. Now the next color that I'm going to apply is called Earthy. And this color is by Islip's Face, again. And um, I'm going to take a lighter brush for this. I'm going to take a sort of like a fluffy brush. And I'm going to apply this to the middle right there. And this is what Earthy looks like. It's a beautiful kind of green with lots of shimmer. So I'm going to take this color on my brush. And I'm just going to apply this right in the middle here, up towards the crease, and blend it in with that gold. As you can see, we kind of have like a nice gradient forming, blend it in the crease, and I'm blending it just a little to the outer corner, like so. Now the next color that I'm going to take is this color by Rimmel, and it's called Envy, and it's just a bright, vibrant sort of green. And I'm going to take it with that same brush, and I'm just going to put this right here on the outer corner and blend it in with Earthy, that color called Earthy, just to make it a little bit more green and blend it up into the crease. I'm going to take a little bit more of that green color and apply it. Concentrating just right out here and making a C shape or a V, whatever you prefer to call it. Just bring it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a maybe a pencil brush. I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to take this color by Hard Candy and it's a sparkly green and it's called Space Cadet and it's one of their, I think it's one of their baked meteorized baked eyeshadow and it's sort of like an emery, emerald color emery, emerald color and I'm going to take it on my pencil brush and I'm just going to bring this color under my lash line like so and then up a little right into there I'm actually going to take this color and put it right out here just right on the the outer one third closest to the lash line okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up my pencil brush and I'm just going to take that gold 24 karat by, um, oops, I'm dropping it, by Aroma Lee. I'm going to take some of that and I'm just going to touch it on the, the inner one third here on the bottom lash line. So now I'm going to take some MAC Vanilla P 
pigment. This is just a sampler. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on the inner corner just to brighten it up. We're right in there. That. I think though that I want to touch up my gold. So I'm going to take my 239 and just touch up my gold color so it looks a little bit brighter. Just right in there. Pat it. And now I'm going to take that blender brush that I had earthy on, clean it off, and just kind of blend it. And for my highlight, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this color by Elf, and it's their Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. It's not so much a bronzing powder; it's actually a highlighter. It's called Luminance. Luminance. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush, just apply this right under the brow, right there, just to brighten it, like that. So my last thing to do would be apply um, black liquid liner and then over top that I'm going to go with um, green glitter liner. So I'm just going to go over this very lightly. I'm not doing anything fancy. Just winging it out just a little. There. That's good enough for me. So I'm going to take this eyeliner. And this is just a no-name dollar store liner, and it's in a light green color. I'm going to apply this along my lash line, and then I'm going to take this darker green color, and it's just called Green by NYX, and I'm going to put this underneath. Like so. Okay, so that's the top liner so far. And I'm just going to take the green now, the darker green, and just go a little bit under here. I'm just connecting it with the outer eyeliner. So what I'm going to do is I just want to add a little bit more glamour, like more sparkle. I'm going to take this light green and I'm going to go in the inner one third of my bottom lashes. Now the last thing to do would be uh, apply a black eyeliner to your waterline and I'm just going to use, let's see, I'm going to use my Sephora. Uh, eye coal in Keep Black and this is my favorite coal because it does not smudge whatsoever. So Now I'm just going to clean up the underneath of my eye with a um, brush. I'm going to add some powder. And now you can apply some mascara. So I'm going to apply my favorite mascara right now at the moment. And that is Hard Candy's Ginormous Lash. And I already have my false lashes on. So um, I'm just going to put the mascara on to blend them together. And the lashes that I'm wearing are, I believe they're Ardell Demi Wispies. I have to say I absolutely adore this mascara and I love the size of the brush. Now I'm going to go through the other eye and I'll be right back to show you how to do the rest of the face. So for my cheeks I'm going to use, um, I already contoured and I used, I think it was Bombshell by uh, Hard Candy. It's the darker 
bronzy color blush. Yeah, it's called Bombshell. So I used that to contour because it's very soft. I didn't want anything too um, noticeable. So I am going to take Petticoat by MAC. I think you guys can tell that I I absolutely adore this color. Um, it's a very pink sort of color with uh, rosy colored veining and bronzy gold veining. So I think this would look really nice because I kind of want a berry cheek and lip to match this look. So I'm just going to take some, I'm just going to put this on the apples of my cheek. And you, as you can see, it has a, a nice glow to it. So um, it will help to make your cheekbones look higher because it's sort of highlighting. I'm going to take this up towards the hairline. So that is it for my cheeks. Um, to move on to the lips, right now all I have on my lips is just, uh, I think it's called Cosmo Lip Gloss by NYX and it's just sort of like a pinky color with um, shimmer in it. You can do a neutral or nude lip with this because it is very strong on the eyes but I prefer to do, oh here's the color, it's a pink with lots of shimmer, sort of a frosty color, it's a really nice color. Um, but I would prefer to have sort of like a berry color on my lips so what I'm doing is I'm applying this color over top of the gloss because I want it to be soft and not too thick. I want it to be sort of glossy. Um, this color is called Copperberry Glow and it's by Revlon and it's a beautiful color. It's sort of like a berry color with gold sparkles in it, gold shimmer. It's a really nice berry neutrally color. It's not very dark um, so that's why I like it. So I'm going to just put this over top of the gloss. just to deepen the color. Now, this on its own looks nice like this and I'm satisfied with this. I don't want the lips to be too dark but there are people who like a darker lip with this sort of look so I'm going to cater to you guys because I cater to people with a neutral lip with the Cosmo lip gloss alone then the people who are not so daring but daring I put a little bit of um, berry colored lipstick and now for the people who are daring um, I'm just going to take this color and it's simply called Maroon by NYX and gently over top this color that I already have um, I'm gonna apply just a touch of this to deepen the color and make it quite uh, mature or softer. Now I didn't want to put too much on because this gloss is really dark on its own. It, it is quite, um, quite bold. So that's why I kind of just dabbed it on. And now I'm going to take a lip brush. And uh, this is just my Sigma, Sigma lip brush. I'm just going to blend this in. And that is the completed look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and you really like this because it is a holiday look. Um, it's probably not something that you'd wear every day, but it's probably something that you could wear to, you know, like a family get together, something where you, or a Christmas party or something that you want to be really jazzed up for. Um, yeah, so tell me what you guys think. I hope you liked it and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.